All right, this is going to be my new indoor running location. I set up a backsplash there to catch the oil. And I've built a condenser. We'll see how it works. I think I've used entirely too much copper, though. I have a feeling it's going to strangle the engine. I'll be filling that with water and then just piping it down to a, uh, well, to this. Well, yeah, we'll try it anyway and see if it works. The second input I'll have to cap off. That's for when I get my Jensen 55. Alright. Well, here it is in action. It's been running full belt now for about 10 minutes. Well, I've hardly collected more than a few drops of water. The water in here is almost boiling hot. The extra copper coils aren't choking the engine like I thought they were. Here, I'll take the hemostat off. And uh, just open up this second line as a bypass, and you'll see the engine doesn't get any faster. No effect whatsoever. I guess I'll just leave it as is for now. A little less noise in here now. Seems to work okay. This is very hot in here. <laughs> if anything, I'm getting steam off of this can now. So I don't know if my humidity in this room is going to be any much improved anyway. What I might do is just try freezing the water in the can. Can't hurt. Unless, of course, I have water in the copper pipe and it bursts. The aluminum chimney polished up nicely. A little bit of never dull. The old 25s are lovely slow runners. Anyway, that's about it. That's about 25 feet of copper pipe in there. A little bit excessive, but like I said, it doesn't seem to have hurt anything. Okay, I've just refilled my boiler now, and we're running again, albeit at a slower speed. And this is how much water I've harvested from one boiler. It took several minutes before I even got a drop out of this thing. So I have no idea how much is sitting inside those coils. I had scraped off a bunch of freezer ice from the deep freeze to put in here. You can see those coils are plenty hot. Although the water itself is fairly cool now. Just means I slowly clean the deep freeze over a period of weeks instead of in one day. <laughs> Whenever I run a steam engine. Unfortunately, it muffles all the nice engine noises out of the exhaust, but... Price you pay for wanting to stay dry.
running with the speed control set at about half right now. And that's about it.